Good afternoon from the parking lot of Animal Kingdom. We're headed in today to uh, just go to Dino Land, really. So the last time that we came, we spent most of our day eating lunch and there were a couple of other things we wanted to do that we didn't get to do, so we want to try to do them today. Yeah, one of those things is they have new prizes for the carnival games in Dino Land. They also reopened the carnival games in Dino Land. I don't think we've ever actually played the carnival games, maybe once at like an after hours party. But maybe. I think that it's not something that we normally do, so yeah. we just thought it would be fun, especially with Jackson, to try to win a prize. Oh, I'm gonna win them all. All right, here we go. We're gonna have a wild time inside of Animal Kingdom. So something I didn't notice last time, they still have the Lion King photo op. Yeah. I didn't know that. Then they also have the other Lion King photo op that we took photos in front of with Timon and Pumbaa. Yeah. So we just came into the park and there's a bathroom on the right, right as you walk in. And I feel like this is the perfect spot for hidden Mickeys in the rock work over here, right? Like, would that be considered a hidden Mickey? I just feel like this would be the perfect spot. But pro tip, there's a bathroom right as you walk in, in case you have to go before you uh, scan your magic band, like Tim did. At what point <laughs> is it a hidden Mickey? Like, does it have to be deliberate? Yeah. Cause like, these rocks are not, maybe not deliberate. I feel like there must be one that is like a deliberate hidden Mickey. Okay. Right, don't you think? I don't know, yeah. let us know if you Look, know here of it one. is right here. Where? Right there. What? That, that part right there. Look, let me see this camera. Right, that's a hidden Mickey. Right there. No. No? Okay. All right, we are in the oasis, but we're headed over to the right, because like, I don't know, they, they connect back in the center again, but I feel like because we're headed to the right through Discovery Island, I feel like we're gonna go to the right here. This, well, the sign said this way towards Dino Land. Yeah, see? We normally head to the left because that's towards Pandora. Right. But today, we're not going to Pandora. All right, it looks pretty good. The park is only open for about three more hours, but there's not a lot of people here in front of the Tree of Life. So we're gonna try to see how much we can pack into the last three hours of the park being open. Yeah. I feel like we'll be able to do kind of a lot. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Also, we talked about the masks uh, during the home vlog. I'm wearing one of the Uniqlo masks and it's exceptionally hard to breathe through today. I wish that we had our um, Under Armour masks on, but they weren't dry. I washed them and they weren't dry yet. Also, I didn't pick that one because this is the hottest part. So if I, like, that's the hottest mask in the hottest part. I think it just would have made us more um, easily understandable though. Gotcha. That's, that's my only thing. Right, we found one of the new pin trading areas. I haven't done any pin trading since everything changed. Yes. But I feel like one of the next trips we should try it. I think so. Yeah, there's like lots of fun pins. They sanitize everything. It's uh, no touch, which is really great. Also, they've added numbers to make it easier for the cast members to understand which pin you're looking for. Every time we come to the parks, I try to find something that I haven't noticed before. And this is one of them. All the lamps are being held up by turtles. All these little turtles have lamps on their backs. And the lamps look like parrots. Here we go, headed into Dino Land USA. The lamps have changed. No longer have turtles holding them up. Now they're just like this uh, colorful lamp. Here comes Goofy and Chip and Dale, buddy. There they are. Could you see them? Yeah, you can see them right now. Those are your buddies. Jackson. Maybe one day after everything is different and you're a little bit older, we'll take you into the boneyard that's, for some fossil fun. That's definitely something that I'm excited for him to be old enough to, to play in the playgrounds. Yeah. One day. So this dinosaur here is the mascot of Donald's Dino Bash here in Dino Land. Just remember the way that he looked because I believe one of the prizes is this dinosaur. Oh, one of the plush toys? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Buddy. We're gonna get you some prizes today. Are you excited? He's like, this I can is tell. my excited face. Yeah, he's like, can't you tell how excited I am by my hair? <laughs> All right, headed into Chester and Hester's Dino-Rama. I think the first stop will be Triceratops Spin. Welcome. All right, buddy, you ready for a ride? You got your hat on? I hope you like dinosaurs, because I do. <laughs> So they have these squares that give you a number and then you stand on a number that they assign you and then you have to go and you find the number dinosaur. So we were number five. So we're looking for number five. There it is right there. I think we go in the front. Yeah. All right, Jackson, you ready? Triceratops spin. Gotta leave your hat on, buddy. 
You ready to go up, buddy? Here we go. What do you think, buddy? Do you like it? Whoa, we're up so high. Yeah, we are. We're riding on a dinosaur. Listening to Jimmy Buffett. I really like how every time we take him on a ride, he's always looking around at everything. He's very observant. Yeah. You want to go back down, buddy? Whoa. 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 Hey, wow, we did it. We did it. What'd you think? All right, now it's time to go at some of these carnival games. Uh, some of them look kind of hard. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see them. What huh? is this one? This one looks like a, a basketball game. Oh no, I'm never good at those. You're really good at them. Not at this kind. These are the ones that are like, the, the hoop is smaller than the ball. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we'll give it a try. Let's see how it goes. Well, what's this one over here? Uh, I think there's only two that are open right now is the basketball one and it looks like some some form of wiffle ball that you have to throw into into like maybe a, a hole or something. We'll see. Do we need cash? I don't know. All right, we asked them. There's a little bit of a procedure. You have to buy game tickets from this cart and they're five dollars per ticket and one ticket is one game per person. Yeah, so it's five dollars a game per person. Right. right so, so this cart sells pins and masks. And tickets. And tickets. And I think we're going to do $20 worth of tickets. We'll start with that. Yeah, okay. It'll be a game each, right? That's two. Per cart. Like, two carts are open. Oh, yeah, yeah. One game each. Let's do it. All right, we got our four tickets. And it was $5, and then we had to pay tax on top of it. So you couldn't walk up there with, like, a $20 bill. No, and they don't do annual pass holder discount. So it's just $5 a ticket plus tax. Yeah. So we're going to start out with this game. It's called the Comet... Comet Crasher. There were some people playing the Comet Crasher game, so we came over to Bronto Score, and we're going to try this one. Oh, I get it. It's like Brontosaur. Yeah, but Bronto Score. Okay. What is up? How's it going? Hi. It's pretty going. I'm in the shade, so I can't complain too much. That's good. That's good. We're ready to win. Play? Yes. Go ahead and place a ticket in that brown doodad right over there. Okay. I'll put mine in there. Okay, so I'm gonna put two tickets in. All three right. chances. If you make all three, there's a large, two's a medium, one's a small. Okay. Oh. Take your time. Go whenever you're gotta, ready. Gotta get it nice and nice and. Oh, oh close. That was close. Felt good about that. <laughs> all right, here we go again. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Oh, we did it. Look at that. All right, so we've gotten at least one prize. Yeah. Good chance. Oh, I missed it. That's all right. Dang. That was close. Bottom shelf. What okay. you feeling? I'm feeling the triceratops. Got boss man. Or do you want do you want Mickey or Minnie? Um, I don't, you want to try, let's do the dinosaurs. All right, Triceratops. You going to go T-spin Triceratops? Oh yeah. That's I love right it. Nice oh yeah. Done. That was the ride we just the rode. Ride we just the exact did. one you just got on the ride. Look at that. How about that? All right. <laughs> All right let's You're see. way better at basketball than I am. No, that's, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> Shenanigans. Look at that. No, Perfect shot. <laughs> oh, you got You got to slow down. Take your time. Take okay, your time. Okay, you got to okay. aim it up. All right, all right. Line it up. Believe in you? I keep going to the left. Oh, That's you should okay. have taken a step one. to the left. Lazily to the left. We got one. We got one. <laughs> all right, we're over at Comet Crasher now. Wanted to show you all the different prizes. So we've got the Dinorama dinosaur, which is this one right here. This gigantic uh, Brontosaurus. Where is his head? There it is, way over there. And then you got the Allosaur, which is from uh, the Dino Institute or Dinosaur, where you have to save him. This is the dinosaur that is the mascot of Dino Land. And then you got Mickey and Minnie, and they're both wearing Dino Institute shirts. Specific. Oh, and then of course the Triceratops spin Triceratops that we just won. Oh, so there's That's, more prizes. There's on this more one. prizes over at this one. So what are the what are the rules? What gets us a big one? Ooh, so blue wins small. Okay. Red wins medium. White wins large, and yellow wins extra. Oh. That's okay. Right. So what's going on here is that you have four chances to toss your magical comets into a crater. Okay. If you land in a color, you win a prize based on the color you land in. Okay. No color. And they're swept up into a black hole and gone forever. All right. So you got to find out a spot where there's the most colors. Look at this one over here where there's a bunch next to each other. Okay. Or over there. All right. All right. I don't know. I'm going to try, try over here first. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Hoo -hoo, that was so close, though. Uh, okay. I'll try over here. All right. Oh, 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 it's, it's on a, it's on a mission. Oh, oh <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason to it. Just throw it anywhere. Ooh, okay. all right. Uh, Maybe a little bit of rhyme or reason. Be careful, you don't want it to bounce out. Oh yeah, okay. don't let it bounce out. Oh, no. just like that. That was a jinx. 
<laughs> That's what that was. I saw it coming. You get one and only one. And oh, it, oh, it's it's going going oh, back because okay. it bounced out. All right. Okay. Only okay. one. Make it count. It's got to count, Jen. Okay. Did it count? No. Maybe. What's it doing? Uh, oh, that was super close. That was exciting though for a second. <laughs> okay, so now. Once again, if you land in a car, you win a prize based on the color you land in. No color, okay. no prize. Good luck. All right, you ready? All right, I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, oh, What's uh, happening there? That was ridiculous looking, wasn't it? Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. super close. All right, I'm doing this one again now. That was, I felt like I had the best chance going like across the board. Oh no, Man. one more, one more. This is, this is. Ah, oh, 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 yes. oh. oh. And you won a prize, congratulations. A medium you one. right here in the red. That is indeed a medium. Okay. So would you like either a Mickey Mini, Brontosaurus or Triceratops. Which one do you want? Um, what do you? It's I up to you. I feel like because this is this is the big prize. I want the Boss Man. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't want Mickey. Let's All do right, it. We'll make it happen. All right. Where it's at? Jackson, Daddy won you a Mickey. Oh, you got some snacks on your face. All right. There he is. Thank you. Congratulations. How Ooh. awesome. Yeah, Dino Institute Mickey Mouse. I love it. You feel did like it. a winner. You are, you are a winner. You won. Did you give him a treat? Did you oh, give him look a at that, cereal? buddy. Did you give him a little cereal? Again. Jackson! Yes, you are. Yes. He loves it. You love him, Mick. Is this your new best friend? I think so. <laughs> Mickey Mouse that you got. So the reason that I feel totally fine with handing Jackson this plush right away is because I saw him pull it out of the bag that it was in and then he used like a claw thing to grab it and put it on the table for us. So that's a fully sanitized Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh, look at that buddy. You love Mickey. And also all of the balls are sanitized before they use them. Mm -hmm. And they use these little grabber things to do everything. So, yeah, so they're not touching anything, which is great. Yeah. So as we were walking away, there was some managers coming up to play the game again, like testing it out. Mm -hmm. And the person, the attendant, the like game attendant, told them the number of colors versus the number of non-colors and it turned out that there's an 11% chance of winning. That's actually like higher than I thought. Yeah. To be but honest. That's 11% with each ball, not like like the more balls you throw, it doesn't change it. Right. Unless you throw all four at the same time, then you have a better chance. And he did say that he recommended throwing multiple balls at once. Which we didn't do and we so, still won. But there's a little pro tip for you. Yeah. So we are over at Trilo Bites because there is a buffalo chicken chip, like almost like nachos type thing here. We've never had it before. So we thought, why not try something new today? Yeah. And I'm hungry. But I was watching, um, I took Jackson over to the bridge to watch the boat of drummers go by. Yeah, Discovery Island drummers. Yeah, and Jackson loves them. But the cast member was telling somebody that they go by about seven times in a day. Oh. So that's just so you know, like how, how often each of the cavalcades goes by. That's a pretty interesting fact. Kind of a lot. Here's a Halloween offering that I still don't understand is the tire pumpkin straw. Would you like to enjoy one today? No, thank you though. I just don't, I don't, I don't understand it. Why is it? Why is it made of tires? Somebody has a new best friend. <laughs> what do you think? So Jen got the buffalo chicken chips. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. These so are... It, it looks... There's a little bit less toppings on it than I thought there would be, but it looks pretty good. It's all white meat chicken. There's some tomatoes, some celery, some... I think maybe ranch. I wonder how spicy it is. Let's yeah, see. I think that that's uh, sour cream, strangely oh, do you think? enough. Yeah, there's oh. no like specks in it like ranch has, you know? Let's see. Oh, that's a perfect, perfect scoop. Not very spicy at all. Okay. Very mild. It still has that like buffalo flavor, that's but, good. It's, but it's very mild. Okay. How are the chips though? They're really nice and crispy. That's actually pretty good. It looks like it's going to end up being pretty filling too. This is an interesting thing that I just noticed is that in order to maintain like a free and open area here in front of Flame Tree Barbecue, not only are they doing mobile ordering, but they have a menu board out here. So here's the menu. Baked macaroni and cheese with pulled pork. I had that pulled pork sandwich last time. It wasn't my favorite. What do you guys recommend here? There's Mickey and Minnie and Pluto going by. A lot of people came onto this bridge and were kind of running back and forth between the bridge. 
to see Mickey and Minnie and Pluto. That's the first time that I've ever seen kind of like the character mania happen in real time where Mickey and Minnie and Pluto were coming down the river and people were running up to the bridge and like ripping their kids out of their strollers and like holding them up. And then when they went from this side of the bridge to the other side of the bridge, they ran across the bridge and everyone was like crowded around where the bridge is. And I was like, whoa, so it is, is a pretty little, intense. Some people do kind of forget the physical distancing when the characters come by. So you have to just try to be very aware if that's something that you want to keep maintaining is the physical distance. You just have to be very aware of the people around you. Right. So. And also, uh, you can see the characters places other than the bridges. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's like a lot of different trails all close to the waterway where you can see them. So we're over here by the Saimang Apes and we are at a gift shop because we're headed to Maharaja Jungle Trek. I've never been in this gift shop before. Yeah, there's a lot of really interesting stuff like a Yak and Yeti blanket. And this I'm not old, I'm just really wise. And then this one I think is my absolute favorite. Hot Dog Pandemonium at Yak and Yeti. I don't, I don't really understand it, but I like it. All right, buddy, you ready to see some tigers? Why well, you took your shoe off and now you're eating it? Oh no, let me see that, buddy. You're not supposed to eat your shoe. Those are for walking. Mm -hmm. You got your snackies to eat. Yeah. Okay. He's like, you I'll take your other one. shoe off. There's a Komodo dragon right there, hanging out on the rocks. Buddy, do you see that Komodo dragon out there? You're more interested in the fence? <laughs> He's really excited about the fence. So the, one of the fun facts that we were listening to, I don't know if you could hear her, but um, Komodo dragons are scavengers and they will look for like dead animals and they can smell the scent of a dead animal from two miles away. Wow. That's really interesting. That is. Jungle trekkers, please apprehend that tigers are frequently encountered in the ruins ahead. Whoa. Jackson, you gotta be careful. We're gonna see some tigers. Buddy, it's a lion-tailed macaque. <laughs> Do you see him in the trees up there? There's some over there. Hey, see buddy? Say hi. Hi. Are you saying hi to the monkeys? Say hi, Mr. Monkey. Or hi, Mrs. Monkey. I think these are all ladies. Oh. Hi. Oh, you just touched in the glass. Buddy, look, lizards. It's the circle of life. <laughs> They're really pretty. Yeah. What are these? These are tree monitors. Oh. And then over here, we got flying foxes. There they are, way up there. Flapping their wings. Basically just gigantic bats. So these are the largest fruit bats. And that's why they're awake during the day. And their favorite food right now is watermelon. Buddy. See the tiger? You know what's over there? Tiger. Sleepy, sleepy tiger. Wow, bud. What do you think? You have a tiger in your book. Yeah. A baby tiger is called a cub, huh? Or you could say Pika Mew. Mew. Is there only one tiger in here? Uh, I believe on this side there's only one tiger. Okay. Look at how beautiful this area is. It's really pretty. Especially where the sun's hitting it right now and the water just splashing out. So last time that we were here, I went through this area and I found all kinds of hidden Mickeys. Just found another one right there. This whole, all of these murals are just full of hidden Mickeys. I don't know if the last time that we were here, we got to see the antelopes. There they are. So we just left the area with the antelopes and the water buffalo and it's kind of like a circular path where you can sort of watch the animals and um, they have some little bench seating. And I have to say, this was a really great place to nurse Jackson. So if you're looking for, sorry, he's picking up his toy. If you're looking for a place to nurse, um, I recommend this area. It was nice and shady and it was fairly quiet. There definitely are like ebbs and flows of people walking through this trail, but for the most part, very quiet back here. This has been like the most like calm and relaxing day that I've had at Disney in a long time. Yeah. Look at the size of this bird right here. It's so big. Looks like it might be in the peacock family. Also, this bird up here is so loud. That's a bird butt right there. 
I feel like some of these birds are proof that dinosaurs and birds are very closely related. On the way out of Maharaja Jungle Trek, I found these very, very strange looking flowers. They're so pretty. It's almost like they're growing upside down. Yeah. They look very much like Pandora flowers. Oh, good call. Yeah, they do. Very strange. They definitely belong in Pandora, for sure. Oh yeah, all right, let's make a stop into Discovery Trading Company, see if we can see any new merch before we leave. Oh, this is nice. Is that a Lion King magic band to match this Lion King shirt? Wow, lots and lots of Lion King stuff. Check this out. It's like a shirt and pants that look like Goofy or Pluto. That's fun. $30 a piece though. Well, that was a fantastic day. Yeah, so we're back in the oasis towards the front of the park. We just took some really fun pictures in front of the Tree of Life, right in front of like the where you walk out to see the tree yeah. on that bridge. So I'm excited to see those. That's like the iconic shot with the Tree of Life behind us and everything. Yeah, I don't know if Jackson was smiling, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, but all in all, this was a fantastic day. Honestly, it was such like a relaxing, like calming day. Yeah. We weren't like rushing around. We got to still do a ride. We got to have some delicious food. I won. I know, I can't believe you won both of them. What the heck, I, I didn't even, I oh didn't yeah, even I come, did win both. I didn't even come close. You came real close. No. So uh, now that the day is like, we're at the end of the day, strange thing, the mask got easier to breathe through throughout the day. I kind of sort of forgot I was wearing it towards the end of the day. Yeah. Which is nice. Yeah. But yeah, today was awesome. I had so much fun. This was just like a very, I don't know. It just, it didn't feel like we were go, 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 rush, rush, rush. It was a really nice way to end the day. I agree. I think I like coming later in the day. I think so too. Yeah, we haven't done that in a while, so it was just really nice. The and only issue is uh, everybody leaves at the same time at the end of the day. Well, we left a little bit early, so I think we missed like the majority of the crowd. So another thing I wanted to mention, if any of the cast members do something that's just like extra magical or nice or makes you smile, make sure you go to guest relations and let them know that cast member's name and just let them know what they did to make you um, have such a great trip. Because right now, especially, I think it's just really important that we really recognize the cast members for the great work that they're doing. Yeah. So we made sure every time that we leave a Disney park, we make sure to let the guest relations know the cast members that really made our trip magical. Right. So. Yeah. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. It really was. Uh, everything was good. Mm -hmm. Everything uh, was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. But that being said, we are off. We will see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to help. So because in today's video, we checked out the aviary and that's something that I feel like is sometimes overlooked. It's not something that a lot of people I think specifically are seeking out the aviary, but I do think that if you are interested in just like taking a minute to relax and have just like a peaceful moment at the parks, I would definitely check it out. But so because we checked out the aviary today and we liked it so much, we're going to shine a spotlight on the American Bird Conservancy. And so for the last 25 years, the American Bird Conservancy's mission has been conserving wild birds and their habitats throughout the Americas. Many birds are experiencing uh, major population declines and they need our help right now more than ever. The American Bird Conservancy has made significant strides in preventing the extinction of the most endangered birds, uh, conserving important bird habitats, reducing the top threats to birds, and building a wide community of bird conservationists. So if you're interested in learning more about what the American Bird Conservancy does and how they're helping bird populations and how they're helping to preserve bird habitats, please check out the link in the description down below. And thank you so much for watching this video. Hey.